Hello and welcome to Reinfused. Today, well, I think probably slightly obviously it's an unboxing. Uh, it's another Japanese parcel, which I know I said there weren't going to be many of, but I brought myself a present. What can I say? There's another box coming after this as well. Uh, who knows when they'll be released from customs. Yeah, so this one did get caught in customs. Uh, they charged me, if you can, might just be able to see here, £47.65. pence. Which is actually not bad compared to what's inside this box. They really did charge me on value rather than, well, value of what I paid rather than the value of the items, which they do sometimes do, by the way, so be careful of that. Right, let's get the Stanley knife and get this open. Okay, so this is a interestingly boxed package. A bit more on, on the package to do. Oh, right. Okay, don't you come, damn you. Right, there we have it. So this is a Konami Pikno. Pikno? Yeah, Pikno. Uh, weird on-screen drawing thing. I, it's in pretty bad shape. There's no... Oh no, there is a pen. That says no pen. There is a pen. There it is. Uh, but there is no power supply, but it's nice, nicely marked with both the polarity and the voltage, which is good. And yeah, needs a clean up and a test. It comes with a save card as well. <laughs> Should be interesting to try out if nothing else. Yeah. Oh, let's get this box open next. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of boxes to get rid of to this space. A bit more bubble wrap to get rid of. Ah, there we go. So that's a Casio PV1000. It is in pretty bad shape. Ooh, what's that around there? That's, uh, maybe it was just there for no good reason, apparently. Fine. Uh, yep, yeah, there's no power supply. There's no controllers. And we'll have to work out exactly what power this uses. Uh, and no games either. So, uh, but, this is quite a rare machine, and so when it came up at auction at a relatively okay price, I decided to go for it. Ah, now this is an interesting one. So this is like a kind of a barcode battler style thing, plus it's got a calculator and bits like that. Interesting device. I already own one, but I only own the machine, because I assumed, like barcode battler, it was all based around normal barcode, so I could just find the cards and print them out. But it's not. It's based around a magnetic um, reader. So you can't just print the cards out. Now I looked on to try and find the cards and they're basically selling for £100 each. <laughs> and then I found this, which sold for about £8 and has all the cards inside it. So there we go. <laughs> all right, so this is an FM Towns mouse and keyboard. Now I don't own an FM Towns computer, but I do own a Marty and these should work on that. And basically it's because I want to try and get Wing Commander working. That is literally the only reason I brought these. Because I believe it will work as long as you can, you've can. you got a mouse and keyboard available. So, yeah, we'll give it a try. But it appears the last thing remaining is this big box. I don't recall what's going to be in this. It must be a collection of things, so I'm pretty sure I didn't buy anything particularly massive. Right, let's... It is indeed a collection of stuff. Yes, and I do know what this is. Right. So this was a giant auction that had a ton of stuff in it. If you follow me on Twitter, I kind of talked about it there because I didn't know what this was. Right, we'll just start pulling things out, shall we? So, uh, yeah, that's the uh, Famicom Donkey Kong. I don't think I own that. Hold on a minute, that doesn't sound like... 
No, it is. It is. Just for a second there, it sounded like a cassette tape. That would have been interesting. And uh, Super Mario Brothers. Again, Famicom. I do own that. Pac-Man for the Famicom. I don't own that. I need to cut some of this away. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers collection for the Wii. I do not own a Wii. <laughs> yeah, some pads. PlayStation Hurry Pad. Space Invaders for the Famicom. Another Wii game, Dragon Quest X, 10, possibly, don't know. Right. Oh, this is kind of the meat of the whole thing. So, so this is the Neo Fami, which is basically a reproduced Famicom. Interesting to look at that. Um, Seems to be okay rated. I will say the controllers don't look very, very good. But hey, we'll look at that. Uh, some power supplies. There's what they're for. Oh, some really corroded power supplies. Not be using that. Uh, Oh, this is a DSLL. Pretty bad shape. And disturbingly sticky. Uh, you know, some more just standard PlayStation pads. Uh, right, an SFF. SF. No, 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 that SFC compact pad, so that's a knockoff pad for the console presumably it was connected to just then. Yeah, second pad. So that's the SF SFC compact. Yeah. Made in China. A very badly conditioned Super Famicom. Already have quite a lot very badly conditioned to the Famicoms. A not quite as bad Famicom. That's kind of good. I don't actually own a, a bog standard Famicom. I just own a uh, twin duo, a sharp twin. So that'd be nice. Two very discolored Super Famicom joysticks. Uh, an aerial for something, possibly the Famicom. Oh. Ooh, another random Famicom clone, which is disturbingly rattly. And I'm assuming the dodgy controller for that, <laughs> and possibly the power supply. Oh, oh a PlayStation. I have. Quite a lot of PlayStations. I had a spell where I was getting auctions, like proper auctions from from uh, actual, uh, you know, live auctions, and uh, they just all came with PlayStations. Very odd. I'm now having a similar thing with Atari Two Six Hundreds. So that's a, I think, another Famicom clone. It's volume Two, whatever it is. Um, yeah, in answer to a question I got on Twitter, it's nothing, it's just for show. <laughs> a really, really dodgy looking pad. Again, the big black object at the front is just for show. That's, yeah, that's going to be interesting. 
a PS3 game, Final Fantasy fourteen Realm Reborn. I've never heard of it. I did not keep a PlayStation 3 for very long, I will admit. Uh, another controller for the dodgy console, or I guess the power supply for the dodgy console. Seeing as it's the same colour. And then just some cables. And that, I believe, is the lot. This is the giant foam packaging they use when you add extra protection for boxes. <laughs> it looks like they literally just put the stuff in a box and then spray the foam around it. Which, you know, I guess that's one way. Oh, right. That's it. It's um, an interesting haul. The keyboard and mouse, I will be testing them out on the Marty. I might make a video on that, or I might just make a video on Wink and if it works. Um, yeah, the rest of it, it's all kind of a mix, isn't it? Some of those clones, I'll be testing them out, obviously. I'm not particularly interested in clones. It was just, there was that blue one. I didn't know what it was. And so that's why I bid on the auction. And yeah, I think it's just a Famicom clone. So I think that was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> there's not really much in the auction. Other oh, Famicom, you know what? The original Famicom, I, I like the fact I've got that. That's good. Uh, the PV-1000, obviously. I've ordered one of those for a while. There's a lot to do on it. And the uh, Konami Pikno should be quite interesting if we get it working. All right. All upcoming videos, obviously. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.